Senator Mark Warner says government shutdowns are stupid, so he's introducing the Stop Stupidity Act. <laughs> Not making this up, this is a real thing. Yeah. The act would prohibit government shutdowns like the one we all just went through. So why is it called that? Well, stupidity stands for shutdowns, transferring unnecessary pain and inflicting damage in the coming years. Bray Jackson reports critics of Warner's proposal say it may be unconstitutional, but he's willing to take that chance. The end of the longest government shutdown could mark the beginning of the end for similar crisis. Democrat, Republican, President, Congress, never again another shutdown. In the event of another political standoff, Senator Mark Warner says his bill, the Stop Stupidity Act, would automatically renew government funding at current levels. It would also withhold the pay of lawmakers and the White House staff instead of hurting federal workers. The only folks that would actually have to feel the pain would be the legislators, their congressional staff, and the White House, and the White House staff. The Constitution puts restrictions on changing the pay of Congress and the President, so the constitutionality of the Stop Stupidity Act remains up for debate. But lawmakers I spoke with say they do want to put an end to government shutdowns. These shutdowns don't help anybody. Um, and people who think they're winning the shutdown game, I think, are just fooling themselves. Senator John Cornyn says shutdowns should not be negotiating tools. So in addition to Warner's bill, lawmakers are considering other legislative options. One bill funds the government, but the longer it takes to come to an agreement, the more funds are reduced. It forces Congress to do our job and not uh, resort on these shutdowns that just hurt people unnecessarily. And with another possible shutdown looming, lawmakers are pushing to pass some form of legislation before February 15th. In Washington, Bree Jackson, ABC4 News.